Most practical electrical circuits include more than one load, along with other components such as switches, fuses, and maybe even multiple power sources. For now, we'll consider only circuits that may appear complex but which can be classified into one of only three basic configurations. Series, Parallel, or Series Parallel. Later in the course, we'll introduce two other configurations that don't fit into one of these three types. These are Y and Delta connections. The first step in understanding how a circuit operates is to recognize the type of circuit configuration, series, parallel, or series parallel. This is because the ways in which the electrical principles are applied in analyzing the three types of circuit connections are somewhat different. There are some terms that are important in referring to and analyzing electrical circuits. A terminal is a wire or connector on a component or circuit where other components or circuits can be connected. All electrical components have at least two terminals. These may be in the form of wires permanently attached to the device by the manufacturer, or screw terminals or some other method of attachment. A node is a point in a circuit where two or more components have terminals connected together. A node is also called a junction. For example, here are four resistors which all have one of their terminals connected to a common place. This creates a node or junction. This is an important concept, so a further discussion of nodes is helpful. A node includes the point where wires are physically connected together, and also the wires themselves, all the way to the beginning of the next component. For example, here again are four resistors that each have one of their terminals connected together. This forms a node that includes the wires connected to the body of each resistor during manufacturing, and also any wires used to connect them together. Here's another example. Again, it is the entire set of wires which are joined together that make an electrical node, not just the point or points where they are physically connected. Nodes where more than two devices are connected will usually be drawn with one or more dots on the schematic, as shown here, here, and here. The dots themselves are not the node, as if the node was a single specific location. The purpose of the dots is to indicate which components are connected to the node. For example, this dot means that three wires are connected together to form this node. So this node includes a connection to the positive terminal of the DC power supply, one terminal of the resistor R1, and one terminal of the diode D1, and also any wires used to make the connections between these terminals. Notice that the wire connecting resistors R1 and R2 does not have a dot where it crosses the horizontal wire. This means that the two wires cross but are not connected to each other. This wire is its own separate node. So, if there is a dot, the wires connect. No dot means the wires cross but do not connect. Incidentally, there is a third node in this circuit diagram. Notice that the DC power supply, resistor R2, and diode D1 all have one of their terminals connected to the circuit ground or common. Recall that wires to which this symbol is attached are also attached to each other, even if the wire joining them is not shown on the diagram. So this circuit has a total of three separate nodes. A very important characteristic of a node is that all the points in the entire node are at the same voltage. For this reason, a node is often referred to as an electrical point, as a reminder that the electrical properties of the node are much more important than any specific location on the node. Also, this means that the voltage at a node can be measured at any point on that node. A principal node is a node that connects three or more components. In this circuit, the nodes labeled A and B are principal nodes. Notice that the nodes labeled C, D, E, and F each connect only two elements together. These nodes are not principal nodes. Here are two more definitions which are important. A path is a set of components and associated wires through which current can flow between two nodes. A branch is a path between two principal nodes that does not include any other principal nodes. An important characteristic of a branch is that all points in the branch carry the same current. This circuit has two principal nodes labeled 1 and 2. There are three branches for a current to move between principal nodes 1 and 2. Electrons arriving at node 2 may travel to node 1 through R1, which would make one branch. A second branch would be through R2. 
A path from node 1 to node 2 through the voltage source itself would constitute the third branch. Please take the time to make sure you understand the definitions of the fundamental terms path, node, principal node, and branch as presented here. The types of circuits and their analysis techniques will be presented using these important terms. If you don't know these terms, you will soon feel very lost in this course. So, to summarize, the defining characteristic of a node is that all points of a node are at the same. Use the pause button and think about the answer. Voltage. The defining characteristic of a branch is that all points of a branch carry the same current. And paths that connect principal nodes and don't include any other principal nodes are called branches. It's important to understand how these terms are used. This knowledge will enable you to develop the ability to recognize the three types of circuit configurations, which are series, parallel, or series parallel. Here's a circuit with multiple loads, eight of them in fact, along with a DC voltage source. How many nodes does this circuit have? There are seven nodes. Remember, a node includes the points where wires or terminals connect, and also the wires themselves. How many primary nodes does this circuit have? There are four primary nodes. Only nodes 1, 2, 5, and 7 have more than two components connected to them. How many branches does this circuit include? There are six branches. Remember that branches connect primary nodes and do not include any other primary nodes. Branch A connects primary nodes 1 and 2 and does not include any other primary nodes. Branch B connects primary nodes 2 and 5. This branch includes nodes 3 and 4, but neither of these are primary nodes, so this path between primary nodes 2 and 5 satisfies the definition of a branch. Likewise, branch C connects primary nodes 5 and 1 without any other primary nodes, and branch D connects primary nodes 1 and 7. Branch E connects primary nodes 7 and 2, and the last branch, branch F, connects primary nodes 5 and 7. Here's a path that connects primary nodes 1 and 2. Is this a branch? No, this is not a branch because it includes the primary node 7, which is not allowed by the definition of a branch.